Hi everyone, welcome, welcome to day two of 30 days to us. And if it's your first time, welcome. Welcome to all the live um, viewers as well as those that will be watching this later on when they have time available for our replay viewers. So welcome again to um, 30 days to us. And if you weren't here on the first day, which was which started yesterday, 30 days to us is Ask the Planners, which is a Facebook group by um, Umber Bride and Groom, is a journey from I do to the aisle um, in reference to showing you how to plan a wedding in 30 days. 30 days. Okay, so we're gonna walk you through it. And yesterday we had a little introductory um, information, letting you know what it was all about. Hi, Rona. How are you? Welcome. <clears throat> we um, had a little introductory, letting you know what it was all about. And today we're going to start with day one of okay. Someone, um, you just got the word, not the word, but you know, he said will you marry me? And you said, I do. So it's time to get married in 30 days. Okay. Why 30 days? Well, we chose 30 days because no matter whether it's 30 days, 60, 90, or even two years out, some people plan two years out, believe it or not. Some people even plan their wedding and they don't even have a fiance. So I'm just letting you know where different people are, <laughs> but it can be done. Okay. It's the same steps. There's nothing different between a checklist of things to do for 30 days or things to do if it's two years out. So we're going to show you how to do it step by step and with the best plan um, that, that will walk you right through stress-free and able just to knock things out and feel accomplished along the way. Okay? So, <clears throat> hi Sean. We have Sean here uh, as well. So, um, Rona. Rona is one of our brides. Hi, Rona. If you guys aren't used to using Facebook, um, our live as well as our replay viewers, <clears throat> Facebook Live will is similar to Periscope where you can actually click on the little emoticon. It should be like in the right underneath your um, name when you log when you log in. They'll allow you to like click on a little emoticon and give hearts, or which just lets people let um, it lets me know that you hear me. Because I can't hear you, you can hear me, right? So it lets me know that you're there and you get what I'm saying, and um, you or you agree with what I'm saying. So it's just a way to interact. So you can um, interact by clicking on those little emoticons, um, and they're different types. So and if, of course, if you have a question, just type it in the chat. Even if you're a replay, a replay player, I'm sorry, a replay viewer, you can also ask a question and we'll get back to you in about 24 hours, okay? So live or replay, we got ya, all right? So today, you just said I do and it's time to plan. You and your fiance decided, okay, we're gonna knock this out in 30 days for whatever reason. And as I stated yesterday, we have our fictitious bride and groom, Aaliyah. Perry and Michael Peterson okay so they are our bride and groom that are getting married in 30 days um, and that will be on October 5th that's the day they're going to walk down the aisle hi Jazz how are you that's the day they're walking down the aisle so we're gonna get them down the aisle starting with today so what do you have to do what are the first few things immediate things that you need to do once you say I do I'm ready I want you <laughs> okay first thing you need to do is discuss the budget okay you need to decide how much that's going to be why you just can't run out and you know go start buying things and say you go and look at a dress and the dress is say what three thousand dollars and you like it but what if that's not what you can afford when you start adding up food and all the different vendors, like your photographer, you have to have a photographer, you have to have memories, right? Um, don't have to have a videographer, but your photographer, your caterer, your venue, linens if you need linens. I mean, it goes on and on. So you just, you just don't want to not have a plan. You need to know how much between you and your fiance you're going to spend on your wedding. So that could be $15,000. i have seen people spend 5000 uh, as high as 70, 100,000. So it just depends on your, um, what your needs are and what you 
dream or envision for your wedding and what your pocketbook says okay so you don't want to go look at a dress and it's like once you try it on and you're in love with it and you know I'm, you're like I want to walk out the store with it but the woman tells you it's like five thousand dollars and you're like oh my god you know you don't want to go in the bank all you have is that dress and then you walk and you have nothing else you know you can't afford anything else because you bought this dress so that's the reason for the budget now what we're going to do is first thing you want to do you want to when you're planning your um, event you want to use some kind of tool so that everything's in one place okay um, again my name's Denise I'm a bride and groom it is the company that um, I own and we are an event and design or wedding decorator company as well as calligraphy we do all those things and one model we have is we try to stay away from the paper okay I, I try to get our brides into using um, files being online using their phone or iPad or tablet whatever they have electronic using those electronic devices and all and also having everything in one place so you don't have to scamper for that little note you know the little sticky you wrote on that little piece of paper you stuck in your purse or what he put in the back in his back pocket okay so if you have one place where everything is that'll minimize your stress and you'll always be able to just go to that point and say okay this is this is you know how much this costs or this is the deposit I paid the photographer and we owe this much or this is that design I saw you know like two weeks ago this is the those are the colors things like that so that'll all be in one place you don't have to look around for it okay so we're gonna use a tool that we really love called aisle planner so what I'm going to do is walk through you're not gonna see my gorgeous face okay so we're gonna walk through how to use aisle planner so that we can enter our budget manage it there and then I'm going to talk about the other two things Okay, so I'm going to switch the screen here. Okay, and again, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm still here. Okay, so Our Planner. Our Planner is an online um, event management tool. It's um, you can get to it from ioplanner.com. Okay, it's an online tool that will. Did you say aisle? Um, it's aisle like walking down the aisle. A I S A I S L E planner. I know it's my accent. Sorry about that. <laughs> A I S L E planner.com. Okay, and let me see if I point it. You might be able to see it a little bit better right there okay so ourplanner.com so that's where we are and it's an online tool you you can actually um, get this through your planner or you can actually work with them directly and plan your wedding with it so you don't have to work with a planner to use it it, it works either way and also it doesn't cost that much it's about I think it's depending on you just you, if you're using it just for your wedding then it's about I think thirty forty dollars a month I'm not sure uh, I have to look at it. I'll put it in the notes in the comments below after the after we talk tonight okay so <clears throat> once you set it once you um, sign up with them you'll get a little account and give them some preliminary information such as your the bride and groom's name um the date you're getting married of course and i'm not showing you that but let me see i can actually go back let me go here and show you okay so once you get signed up you just you'll just enter your your name the groom's name okay the wedding date and where you're getting married and just give a, if you're not sure about the guest count, just enter just a guesstimate. You can always increase it. And then that's it. You're done. So once you enter that general information, of course, you put your pretty little face here, you know, yours and his, and you click on the done button. All right. So once that occurs, you go in there. We're going to go into Aaliyah and Michael's wedding account. You open up and you have access to enter your checklist, calendar, all these things are in the tabs here. Checklist, 
calendar timeline all the way down to your um, guest list, the seating, and um, once everything's over, your RSVP for the invitations that are sent out, and your thank yous based on the RSVPs. So everything can be done here. The design studio is where you'd actually go in and um, post different ideas that you've seen across the net. It's just like uh, Pinterest. Okay, so if you don't already have a Pinterest account, you could actually keep your ideas here, but you could have both. But we want to focus on budget. Okay, so this gives you a summary level of bit of information based on all those things I just mentioned. So you're going to click on budget because remember, that's the first thing you need to do decide how much money can I afford or would I like to spend. I think it's more like what you can afford. You don't want to put all your money into your wedding, you want to have something left over so you can get you know your house okay if you don't already house get the things that you want to build your house built and you make it you know make it better for you so i'm the type that don't spend it all on your wedding okay but decide on a budget and for leah and michael it's going to be twenty thousand. okay so um what you see here is all the different categories all the basic items that you need in order to be wed um wedding planner Okay, the um, engagement party. You want to have a party. You want to you want to come. You know, celebrate the occasion, big or small. The um, dresses and the suits for your bridal party, uh, the bride and the groom, hair and makeup, mani pedi, all of that. Uh, rings, of course, stationery. See, it covers covers everything. The venue, the officiant, the photographer videographer they call it cinema cinema okay or cinematography catering the cake uh, if you're going to have alcohol then the bar entertainment you have to keep people happy so that'd be your DJ you know keep them entertained right your DJ your band acrobatics I mean some people have mimes there's all sorts of things that entertainment can um, derived from child care some people w like to provide that that's a that's optional okay transportation getting there right and <clears throat> any rentals like linens chairs anything you need to decorate your ceremony your reception the florals if you're a flower person then um, you have to figure out okay how much am I willing to spend but if you're like me I don't like flowers okay so that would be something I would delete and we're just gonna go ahead and do that. No flowers for this wedding. We're gonna have some non-floral decorative decorative items or elements in the wedding ceremony and reception space. Favors, rehearsal dinner, of course. Brunch, that's optional. We don't need brunch, okay? We're gonna have people, they'll be on their own. So no brunch. You see how I'm going through and I'm deciding what is, you know, what it is that would make me happy on my day as well as my groom okay so you go down the line and figure out what those things are that'll be become a part of your budget and last couple of items travel okay um you, you got to take your honeymoon right whether you take it right after the wedding or two weeks one month away but you want to include that as well and, it's, and of course travel getting to either the ceremony or reception and then lastly the honeymoon all right, so all those items are included in the budget and you need to account for it. So the first thing you're gonna do is just go down the line. It, has to, it doesn't have to be exact, just an estimate of how much you think all these items are going to cost. And of course, you've never been married before, right? So you don't know how much it's going to cost for stationery, you know, the invitations, whether it's the save dates or your, or your um, wedding invitations and your thank yous, things like that, you don't know. But come up with a, round number and that's why it's called an estimate okay so you're just gonna put in some plug in some numbers there and we already have some populated there for you in the app which is cool so you can go in and kind of adjust it so say like the rings now who spends five hundred dollars on rings I mean some people may but then some people may have a little bit more money right so I clicked on that and I'm gonna up this I would say that you probably would spend about two thousand. The average person, 
on his and hers. Okay, and and this is not on the high end, of course. There's some people that spend two thousand just on the woman's ring, right? But we'll just say two thousand. We go ahead and change that. Close it when we're done. Okay, so it updated with that amount. So that's what you would do um, in entering your estimate. Go ahead and update what's already there. Now, once you you actually find out how much these things cost, then you're going to go in and you're going to update these items. So if you decide to hire a wedding planner, whether it's for the entire process from beginning to, to end or it's just for that day, you know that you can't do it yourself. You want someone other than your mother or your sister or... Hi Vera, how are you? Thanks for joining. Um, you want someone other than your mother and your family members because you want them to enjoy the day with you. You don't want them working on your day, okay? So just you think about that, and <clears throat> and once you fit, once you have your engaged par engagement party, you plug that in, and then what happens? Whatever the difference is, it'll let you know what that is, and once you actually make that payment against you know for your wedding planner um you have your engagement party how much did that really cost based on the estimate it'll update that for you okay the vendors as you go down the line and say because we're doing this in 30 days so we're going to have some down payments for like our photographer down here our officiant okay we're not going to have a videographer we're going to delete that okay we're doing this in 30 days and we don't really need a, a video we're going to um, delete that option there. But once we go, we um, get our deposits to all these different vendor, um, vendors, like our photographer, okay, the venue where we're having it, the caterer, okay, officiant, things like that, you're going to put those deposits in. You're going to, um, if you have to invoice anyone, or if they invoice you, you can add those invoices for each of those vendors here. And it'll keep track of all your payments in the pay. And it'll keep track of when they're due here. So this is a really good tool that'll um, actually help you from end to end. Okay. So this is what I this is one tool that I suggest that you use to manage your budget. And then also when talking about your budget, make sure that you also talk about um, who's paying for what. So if it's just you and your fiance, that's cool. Maybe you you're fortunate and you have your parents that are going to help you. So that's also part of the conversation, all right? So once we know how much we're going to spend, that's number one. Number two is, okay, where are we going to have the event, okay? Where? So again, number two is where will I have my ceremony? Where will I have my reception? Uh, some people are fortunate enough to have it in the same place. Sometimes it takes two places, okay? Um, Ideally, you want to have it in one place, but depending on circumstances, depending on, you know, parents wanting you to have the, your wedding at a certain, you know, at a certain church or um, venue that doesn't allow for both, you have to have two separate uh, places where your um, event will take place. But anyway, make those decisions. And reason for that is you can't do anything else until you have a place to have the event. You can't get save a dates you can't tell anybody when because you need to book that venue um see what dates they have available and then from that point once you book it you have a date then everything else falls into place you can go ahead and order your save a dates have your engagement party and tell your people oh we're getting married on this day save -a dates go out then all the other things come into place because then you can add on your other vendors and tell them what date you need them so that um, <clears throat> getting the venue is key in starting the whole process. And you want to do that as soon as possible. Now, what Aaliyah and Michael have decided, they are local. They live here in the DMV area. And they want something different. They don't want a church wedding, the typical church wedding, even though they're, you know, they're godly folks. Um, they don't want the traditional uh, wedding and reception. They want something, you know, that's different, unique. So they have decided, I'm gonna switch over because this is number two. They've decided on a venue. They went out and actually have their date available, which is 10-5. And they're gonna have their wedding 
and I mean their ceremony and their reception at the Moshulu. This is a really cool place, guys. Okay, the Moshulu, and I hope I'm saying this right because it's a really different type of name. But the Moshulu is this huge uh, ship or boat in Philly. Okay, in the Philly Harbor. Okay, and it looks just like this. It is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, um, we plan on making a site visit there. So, and what we'll do is just show you guys what it really looks like. I mean, you can see how huge it is. Look at all these windows. This is the um, the lower deck. They have, I think they have like three or four decks, and you would get married here on the top deck, um, and then they can change that over, and you can also have your reception in the same area or down below. If you don't want the outdoors, you know, the outdoors, maybe it's too hot, you have a lot of old people, maybe they won't be able to take it. So you have to make those decisions, but this is the most gorgeous venue ever. So um, Leah and Michael went out for a site visit and they found out um, what I'm going to is private parties, wedding package. Okay, so they talked to the folks and they found out how much everything was and here you can see some of the base prices um based on what your needs are so they found out um this place includes they have a bar hors d'oeuvres um, number of courses of course the more courses you want the price goes up right and this price is per plate okay you were probably looking at these like these what are these numbers okay a lot when you start looking for talking to caterers or talking to venues that actually provide the food as well they'll be giving you plate prices so based on say the rose package it's $85 a plate it goes as high as the jasmine package which is 175 a plate it's a four course seated meal in every instance it's not a buffet type setting so you see what you're getting. You get four hour top shelf bar, etc. All right. So 175 a plate. That's really high end. Average amount per plate is about 115. Okay, 115. It's a two course seated um, meal. You get your six but butlered um, orders during the cocktail hour. Four hour. You get the bar. Four hour premium bar at that versus $85 a plate, you get beer and wine, which is still cool, okay? Everyone doesn't need to come in your wedding and get toasted, okay? So, so that is your number two, okay? So number one, you decided on the budget. Um, it's 20000 for Leah and Michael. And then they went on a site visit to Moshulu. We'll go back so you can see what it looks like there. And here, I'll even click on the gallery so you can see different pictures of the, this particular site. But they went out for a site visit. They showed them around. Um, they're going to do a tasting a little bit later. But they decided their venue is the Mashalu. Their 10-5 is available. And they're on their way to 30 days. All right. The third step, the third step and um, next important step that we'll talk about is having... Um, once you have a date, now you can send out saver dates. Okay, you can send your saver dates out. You can, um, especially since it's 30 days out, you wanna do this quick in a hurry, right? If you want the people that really mean a lot to you to be there. So, <laughs> so um, the third step is saver dates. So what we are doing here now Leah and Michael decided you know they can't make up their mind they're two really cool places paperless post paperless post and it's just that you know remember what our motto here at Umber is no paper we want you guys to be online right we want you to put everything in one place because if it's online you can get it from your phone your tablet and your computer when you're at home right so <clears throat> paperless post is really cool you go on Right here, you know, click on online invitations. I mean, they have every style, that, um, every theme or style that you can imagine, whether it's boho, romantic, it's some sort of theme. Like, I know Rona like, is into, you know, like, not goth, but um, what is it, Rona? I can't remember the, your, your theme, but 
there's running into a certain theme I, I can't remember i should be like shot in the head i should know right but go you can go in here and find all sorts of different types of online invitations for weddings let me go right to the weddings where is the wedding let's see there under celebration you have wedding invitations and here are some of the different styles here and um, they you can order them order them based on your color because once you have your venue then you can start thinking about okay style theme modern medieval okay see I, I couldn't remember <laughs> modern medieval okay yeah so they have an invitation for that here too right I mean they cover across all different types of themes and um, styles that you might be thinking of so for the modern bride the boho bride the uh bo the uh, boho chic the person who likes things like star wars star wars and disney world there's um let me show you say you decided you wanted your colors to be this pretty blue okay maybe blue and this peachy color so you can select the colors, decide on what type of invitations you're looking for. Now we were looking for saver dates and I don't see saver date here, but I'm sure they have that because they have that as well as wedding, wedding, wedding invitations. So you decide based on whether you want a photo type saver date, horizontal, square, etc. Um, and go through their different designs and you can kind of customize these so even though I have this color the designs you see can be any color say you like this pretty floral you select it it's already indicated you're going to order these online you pick colors say I don't like the blue I want it that's a little bit too dark for me I want it um, lighter then you click on customize and actually go through it's trying to get me to sign in. I don't want to sign in. So you actually go through and you would enter your personal information, like your name and his name, where it's going to be, because now you know it's going to be at the Moshu Loop, okay, in Philly, the Philly Harbor. So you go in and enter all that information, and they typically have your stuff out within like two weeks. And there's a rush. You can get things that's, um, and pay the rush order to have it to you in about a week. Okay, so <clears throat> and I think you can actually get most things in about a week, if, if, and I think the week is a rush, so you can order as many as you like, and they're pretty quick. I mean, I ordered something from them, and I can't remember what it was, but they said three to seven days, but I got it in like two or three days. It was crazy. So they are very good. I love them. And the second choice, because we're running out of time, we're almost at eight. Second choice, because remember, Lee and Michael, they can't make up their mind. Paperless posts for our save dates. And they're also going to use them for wedding invitations later. And Or this new company that people really don't talk about too much. Uh, we'll say we want it. As soon as you go to the site, you know how all these sites are. They want to give you a discount. So we want that because we want to save money anywhere we can. So 20% off, yeah, I'll take it, right? And they're pretty much like, um, we're going to say this is for personal use. And it's trying to make me sign in already. Ah, oh, really? Okay. I need to do this because I want to show you. So let me go ahead and sign in. Now, I've never worked with um, Green Velope. That's the name of this company, Green Velope. Instead of envelope, it's Velope. Dot com. I'll put these um, all these uh, URLs in the comments afterwards. So let me put my um, password in. Password. Let me make this there, and then start designing. And you could have you can sign up with your Google or Facebook. I don't like using Facebook because they have they know enough, so I don't want to give them any more information. But they're you'll see that they're pretty similar because all all of these online invitation companies are pretty much the same. 
um, they might have their styles might be a little different depending on what your style is um, otherwise but the, the way that it works is pretty much the same so here we're looking for savory dates wedding savory dates so we're gonna click on that to the left of that were the wedding invitations and that's how we start click on that and look at all those gorgeous designs so it covers all sorts of different styles and themes that you can think of like this rustic I like this rustic theme here romantic okay this water uh, watercolor okay so a lot of different um, nice styles depending on what your theme is for your particular event all right so that's all we have for tonight okay I told you I didn't want to go past 8 and it is 801 so the first thing you're gonna do after you after I do when it comes to getting your wedding um, walking down the aisle in 30 days is you're going to figure out what your budget is okay come up with an estimate of that and go from there and once you figure out your budget then you're going to decide on a venue for your ceremony and your reception okay and they decided on Mushalu Philadelphia Harbor okay if you or someone else is thinking about an event and you're in this area in the Philly area this is the coolest place and then lastly you're going to have to get those saver dates out okay and if you're getting married in 30 days you may not even need a saver date but I don't know I would send one out um, if it's not that cost it doesn't cost that much I would go ahead and do that otherwise you can skip it if it's like third um, if it really were 30 days I would actually skip it and just send the invitation because <clears throat> that way you save a little money but any other time you know six months nine months out you want to save a date because you want your, the people that you care about to be there you want to make sure they know about it and so they were just uh, trying to figure out whether they wanted to do paperless post or green envelope and I think we're gonna try something new we're gonna go with green envelope because we like their saver dates okay and we'll what we'll do is use paperless posts for the the uh, wedding invitations so we'll use these two companies and we have knocked down on that checklist already four different things the venue the saver dates wedding invitations and we know what our budget is okay so we're on a roll now so tomorrow we're going to knock out a few more things on that checklist so that we can get Aliyah and Michael down on the aisle in 30 days. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow. Again, if you have any questions, be, um, go ahead, you can shoot them um, to me uh, by entering a comment below or you know what our email address is if you want to do it that way. So, see you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.